this is what our this is what our course is going to look like out there in the parking lot B area. We've got an increasing a decreasing radius corner, a decreasing radius corner, a slalom. What we'll do is we'll leave. You're going to follow Donnie in a pace car and a Mustang GT, and he's going to lead you out around the restrooms next to the tent, and you're going to park Le Mans style, which means you will park to the left of the car in front of you. Okay? So as you pull in, you pull to the left of the car in front of you. We'll all get out of the car. We'll talk again. While we watch Johnny do a demo lap, we will have two cars on the course at a time. We'll stay between the cones. We're not going to go around the outside or cut to the inside, which sometimes happens, but we'll be between the cones. <clears throat> the green cone indicates the apex. You notice on the decreasing radius, meaning it tightens up, the apex is really late. So let's talk technique real quick, guys. Second gear, the whole time, roll out of here in first, get it into second. One of us are going to ride with you. We're going to watch your eyes, your hands, your feet. We'll help you change modes. We're basically going to do two, two laps in normal, two laps in sport, two laps in track, and then we're going to go back to normal to see what, what it's like to go from track back to normal. Let's talk technique. Remember, <clears throat> the corner starts when you touch the brake pedal. You should be using the most brake first. Most brake, last brake, last brake, last brake, last brake. I should be off the brake before I turn the wheel. When I'm turning the wheel, <clears throat> I'm being patient with the gas pedal, right? I can't be adding gas and steering at the same time. It's always an opposite relationship. I guess I know this was a relationship class. Who's married? Not me. <laughs> right? It's give and take. To get the wheel, you got to give up the pedals. If you want to use the pedals, you got to straighten the wheel. It's that simple. Okay? Braking and looking for the apex. Off the brake before you turn. Maintenance throttle while turning the wheel. That's just hold what you got. Right? I'm not affecting the steering by holding the speed that I have. As soon as I add pedals, though, I automatically lose steering. Okay, so patience on the gas through the corner. Moving your eyes to the slalom as you approach the apex. This might be backwards. I think the first one goes to the right. Anyway, when you get out there, keep your eyes at least two cones ahead of you. Lead the car with your eyes. Remember that your eyes tell your hands and feet what to do, when to do it, and how much of it to do. And the sooner you can figure out what to do and where you want to go, the easier it is going to be to get there. If you wait till the last second to look, you're going to be abrupt with your hands and feet, which is not smooth, which is not safe, and therefore it's not fast either. Okay? Try to be smooth by getting your eyes out in front. Through the slalom, maintenance throttle. You pick a speed before you get there because, again, we're going to test the different modes and see what the car feels like. If I'm on and off the gas through the slalom, I'm affecting the steering and the way the car feels. So constant throttle through the slalom, work the wheel, so we can feel what the suspension change is when we change modes. Okay? As you come out of the slalom, we'll enter an increasing radius corner, but we're still going to have the corner start when we touch the brake pedal. Taper off the brake. Eyes onto the apex. This apex is in the middle because this corner opens up, meaning the further in I get, I can start straightening my hands sooner. Therefore, I can do what to the gas pedal sooner? Start adding the gas, right? If I give up wheel, I get pedals. Again, touch the gas. Be patient while turning the wheel with the gas pedal. When I'm approaching the apex, I'm going to move my eyes all the way down the track. Okay? So that's technique. Most brake first, looking into the corner, patience on the gas when turning the wheel, squeeze and unwind as you leave, keeping your eyes always two steps ahead of the car. Okay? So as I approach this cone on the slalom, my eyes are already here. As I approach this cone, my eyes are already looking at the next gate. Coming up with a plan to tell my hands and feet what to do to get there. Again, it's second gear the whole time. We'll have two cars. Let's try to stay a half a lap apart if you catch the guy in front of you. 
just back off again. An instructor will be in the car with you. You're not going to learn anything if you're just tailgating somebody. <clears throat> Let's talk about the modes real quick. What do you guys experience when you go from a normal to sport mode? What, what changes on the car? Throttle response. Throttle response. <laughs> Steering with Steering. 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 Suspension. Suspension. What's the suspension do? Up. A little stiffer. What's the first thing you notice when you push that button and go to sport, though? The sound the exhaust. Brrr, the exhaust. Yeah, the exhaust opens up. Okay, so all things that we've all noticed, everybody's run through the different modes in your car, right? Except the thing the is, yeah. we're going to do it on the same lap over and over, and we're going to look for the differences in what we're feeling, and we're going to talk about it all at the end there once we're done. How about when we go from sport to track mode, what happens? Track control and like you said, stability control. Boom, I was looking for the consequences of what happened too, right? Nobody mentioned the consequences going to sport mode. You get less traction control, less stability control. Well, I don't even, I didn't know that. Even going to sport mode, yeah? When you go to track, you get even less traction control, which is wheel spin, and stability control, which controls the yaw, or how much it's gonna let you rotate the car. It's gonna give you more rope to hang yourself with, right? Just like in a Raptor. You push the button, you get less traction control, less stability control. So those are the consequences. That's why it doesn't matter what mode you're in. It's, do the modes make you a better driver? No. The modes can enhance your already good techniques, but if you're bad technique, ooh, it's not gonna be fun at all, right? The rear of the car is gonna be all over the place and it's not gonna be fun. So there seems to be an assumption that a, a really good driver, like one of you guys maybe, would you be faster in track mode than? It depends on the driver's preference too. Like some of us might go track mode and then soften the shocks. So the shocks aren't so stiff. That would be what I would do. I don't like the thing so stiff that I'm chipping my teeth if I touch the curb, right? It's too stiff for me in track. So, so it's not a given that the car is faster in track for a really good driver? I mean, the throttle... I'm just curious because that's what, you know, most of the people... It doing. would probably be a little faster because, again, it's going to speed up the throttle response again, right? It's going to change the steering. It's going to stiffen the suspension. The car should be a little quicker. If the driver can handle it. Right. But again... <clears throat> it doesn't matter. It's not... The mode you're in does not make you a better driver. You being a good driver, the mode can enhance how good you are or not good. It can help you. Okay? Good question on pros and cons of trail braking. Is that not good? Not doing it here today. Okay. Day one class. In order to be good at trail braking, you've got to be able to get off the brake smoothly before you turn the wheel. Because if I let you take the brake all the way into the corner and you let go of the brake here while turning the wheel, you're going to spin the car, right? So first you must master letting go of the brake smoothly in a straight line. And then if we had a day two to do this, then we could talk about trail braking, but we're not even talking. I want you again off the brake in a straight line because if you're off the brake, how much steering do you get? 100%. Boom. Okay, so we're not talking about trail braking today. Is it useful? Yeah, when you know what you're doing. But not on a day one class. <clears throat> Magna ride, guys. Who knows what Magna ride is or what it does or how it works? Suspension. Computer controlled. Computer controlled. It's really just every time. Thousand times every millisecond or something? Like yeah, but give me just the basic mechanics. That keeps it upright and it doesn't do a body roll. Electricity, electricity. Boom, there you go. It's magnetic fluid, right? And it sends an electrical charge to either stiffen or loosen up. But it's different ones, right? Correct. To keep it up. Right? Yes. <clears throat> but the way it works is that the, the fluid has little tiny metallic particles in it, and you, when you charge that, it will stiffen the fluid up, which makes the car stiffer. Okay, so that's how it works. That's what's happening when you push the button. Is that adjustable on our cars? Can you forward? adjust it separately? Yeah. You can't like a, make pr little parameter adjustments in it. No, okay. it's either what's in that mode, and that's what you get. Also, yeah. oh, every mode has a different magnet. Correct. That's why it's different. Different setting. Correct. 
So that's why I want you constant throttle through the slalom so we can feel the difference. Right, because if you're on and off the pedals while you're going through the slalom, you're affecting the way the car handles. Okay? Any questions? So once you've completed your laps, you will come out and go around to the outside and park your car right where you left it. <clears throat> Since there's nine of us, guys, when we get there, we'll have Donnie do the demo lap. We'll talk for a second. Then I want the first four guys in their cars. Because when Donnie and I get out of the first two cars, we're going to jump right in the second. Okay, once we're out of the first couple cars, you guys can use the restroom, you can hang out, do whatever you want. But I need two guys ready to go at all times, okay? So once we're done with the first four, the next five need to be ready to go. You guys can use the restroom first if you're in the second five. How long is this whole thing going to take? <clears throat> no, you're going to do nine total laps, so this is going to take us like, I don't know, 30 or 40 minutes. So each person is uh, how long? Nine laps. Oh, nine laps. Yeah. That's a That's <laughs> But again, I'm more concerned with your technique and where you're looking and how you're using the brake pedal because later in the afternoon, I've got to ride with you on the racetrack where we're going to go five times faster and the little, little tiny mistakes become huge mistakes when you're going five times faster. So we should sharpen our game up here, get the technique right, brake hard at the beginning while looking where you want to go. Once you go to turn the wheel, maintenance throttle, be patient, squeeze that throttle and unwind the wheel while moving your eyes to the next reference, okay? And then we'll just go through the modes while we do that. And we'll talk about the modes when we're done. But I wanna make sure you guys are driving the car properly. Cause again, it doesn't matter what mode you're in. If you're in track <laughs> mode and you can't drive, you just made it way worse. This is the only time you're gonna be in track mode actually is on this course. Today. Because again, it takes away, it doesn't take away all of the stability control, but it, ta it gives you enough to where the car is going to get sideways and you might be off the track and we don't need that today. <laughs> right? Yeah. Quick question. You said something about it might be backwards when we were talking about the, the slow on there. Oh so yeah, just the way the gates are laid out. But when we, when we, I think the first one goes to the right. Oh, that's right. So I draw it wrong. First one is to run. <clears throat> yeah, and you'll see when we get out there. Okay. Any questions, guys? All right, so you're going to hop in your car. You're going to follow Downey down there. You're going to pull with the car on the left when we park, hop out of the car. Guys, all you got to do is slide your helmets on and click your lap belts together. That's it. When we're transporting around in the paddock. Okay? All right.